I want to start by asking you about someone else. How do you think Kool-Aid did in his first? Uh... <laughs> Kool-Aid did his thing, man. Um, Kool-Aid was excited. I think the thing I enjoyed the most with Kool-Aid is every time we run out, we kind of like look around the stadium and he's like, bro, we're in the NFL, right? And so, uh, but Kool-Aid's a gamer, man. He's a guy who's taking his role very seriously and um, it's showing up on game day. What, uh, you talked about how you found yourself kind of in a leadership role now that you're in year three and, and you know, what What did you pass on to him before, you know, letting him know? Um, kind of just told him like, you know, my first two years, I just kind of sat back and watched Marshawn and Tyron and learned from those guys. And I think he came in the right situation at the right time uh, to kind of have me who went from playing corner to nickel and he's kind of doing both there. and. Um, and he still got Marshawn and, and Tyron in the room as well, and Debo. Uh, so I just kind of told him, like, ask questions, man, and, and just kind of see how we go about our, our business. And, you know, uh, he came from Alabama, and I think he's, he's really good with handling his business at the right time. What has impressed you the most about the way he's adapted to the NFL so quickly? Um, I would say his confidence, man, his swagger that he plays with. Um, he's, um, he's just a guy who... He's going to be himself, and I feel like he fits our DB room exactly right. And I feel like he came, like I said, he came into the right situation at the right time. Uh, anything behind how hard you guys were hitting yesterday that comes when you're feeling good? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think um, I think everybody's just playing to the standard that, that we, we've set so far. And, you know, it's a week in and week, uh, week out thing. I think we just got to take it one day at a time, continue to do that. Um, I think we enjoyed this last one this last couple hours, and I think now our mindsets are shifting to Philly. Uh, and like I said, as, as long as we keep taking care of business one day at a time, one play at a time, um, we're going to just keep playing New Orleans Saints defense. I'm sure you saw a lot of the reaction from fans, not only here, but second line and in Dallas and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Like just to see that and to maybe see how this uh, community has responded with all that they've been through this week. Like just kind of what does that mean? Um, it means a lot. You know, that just means, you know, New Orleans is just a, a relentless place. Um, the fans travel, they show a lot of love. and. Um, you know, Tex any game in Texas has kind of been that way. I know we played Houston last year, uh, the fans traveled. Um, but, you know, New Orleans is strong, and, and you kind of see that resiliency within them to go through what we went through with the hurricane, but then also travel and go to the game. Uh, but they were definitely second line, and I was watching those videos. It felt pretty good. How much does how much points the offense is putting up mm -hmm. uh, take some of the pressure off of the defense and allow you guys to be more aggressive? A lot of pressure. I feel like um, you know when you when you have a team who you just want to get the ball back to them so they can go and score um, helps us out and it takes the pressure off of us just to try to get off the field on third down. Um, but the offense was rolling yesterday, and I like to say that. They were rolling so good that they bailed us out in times, right? Like Dallas was driving the ball on us, getting in, in field goal range. But if we're not putting up points on that side of the ball, maybe the score is nine to zero, nine to three. Um, so, you know, offense on the road helps us. And I think, you know, when we get on the road, it also helps the offense. Is it a little different for everybody to be talking about the Saints offense instead of the defense? Nah, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's different. But um, we have the weapons on that side of the ball. We have the guys on that side of the ball. But, you know, we're taking care of business on the defensive side, too. So, uh, I'm sure that they won't override us that much. It's been talked about a good bit during camp, but facing off against this offense with this new scheme, how much has that really sharpened you guys in an iron sharpening iron way to go against other teams? Uh, it was good. Uh, you know, we kind of talk about the motions, eye discipline, uh, flying around, um, extending plays uh, after the snap. Uh, but this helped us a lot, and, and, you know, we're thankful for that. And going up against, you know, Chris Olave, she, guys like that, you're not going to find many guys in the league who are running that fast and running this type of offense. So when we do face different offenses, I feel like we have a good advantage to them. Where were you thinking? You see Derek Carr going deep for Rasheed on that second touchdown. <laughs> Hey, do it. Like, let it go. I and mean, we see it in practice every week. Um, and, and to see DC sit in the pocket and, and believe that she's going to run the route the right way and uh, deliver that good ball, hey, we'll take that every single time. On the sideline, I know we be turned. So. And uh, lastly, you know, getting ready for Philly, what are your initial thoughts about them? Um, I haven't really watched any tape on them yet. Uh, I'm going to watch the game tonight, and, and we'll just break it down from there. But, you know, they got great weapons over there with Jalen, you know, picking up Saquon, a uh, great runner back who uses his legs a lot. And then, you know, you talk about Smitty and, and A.J. Brown and, you know, uh, Dotson that they just picked up from Washington. You know, he's had a lot of spark and in, 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 uh, positive things in the league so far. So, you know, we can't forget about him. We got to make sure we, we check all of our boxes and we just go out there and play ball. How much with Jalen is it about, like, making sure that he doesn't get loose with his legs uh, as much as maybe uh, throwing the ball? Um, 
That's a lot. I mean, he's a great, great quarterback, a guy who can, like you said, use his legs. I think the biggest thing for us is just containing him um, and putting our eyes in the right place. And I mean, you kind of watch our defense. We fly around like we've been flying around, man. I think that uh, we'll take care of anything when it comes to scramble drills.